Welcome back everyone, in today's video I intend on restoring the Byzantine Empire as Greece and getting the full Roman borders as well. We will start off by going down the fascist branch of our focus tree, picking the events that increase fascism support until a coup is launched which will flip our ideology. Then we will be focusing on, on our economy branch to snowball a bit before going to war with Turkey. This is my fighter template, an infantry template that I'm gonna use for this war. I will be simply putting back my units and continuously encircling them, lowering their division count until they wise up so we change the method used. We will keep on doing this until we can push past Constantinople into Anatolia with ease. Once that we have crossed, it will turn into a micro war where we will do our best to simply capture their victory points until they capitulate. And just like that, with the click of a button, every Turk has been magically turned into a proper citizen of the Empire. Next on the shopping block is Bulgaria. Just hold on justifying on them until Germany declares war on Poland so that they don't pick up a guarantee from the Allies. Updated templates that I'm going to use in the second part of the run. And once they capitulate, rush your units in the front line and don't let the Romanian units entrench or you will have a hard time pushing even with air superiority. Next on the shopping block is Yugoslavia, my dumbass forgot to justify on them while I was at war with Bulgaria, so they picked up a guarantee from the UK. Once I saw that, I instantly joined the Axis and got invasion prepared on England. And just like that we capitulated the UK, they stood no chance against us, especially with our better fighters. Make sure to focus on taking Indonesia and Malaysia in this peace deal. We will be going heavy on air production in this one. The Soviets were justifying on me while I was at war with the UK, so when I got the event to hand over Bessarabia to them, I gave it 
since I was hoping to use them against the Axis, but the madman Stalin declared on me as soon as I moved my troops away from the border. Thankfully, I called in Italy and Germany, which covered my front, and I could easily push the Soviet units just using the normal 8 infantry template with support artillery and engineers, since I started to produce gas as well. And before I knew it, the Soviets capitulated. All I had to do now is clean up the borders a bit in Western Europe by conquering France and Iberia. Then I could focus properly on my air buildup. I'm going to pick the double-headed Aquila Focus to be able to rush for 1944 planes and start producing them in 1943. These are the tank templates that I'm going to use in this run. And the final comparison between Germany's Air Force and mine. Now I want you to take a mental note on the date that I started this war on and how fast Italy capped alongside with Hungary and how quickly I took over Bohemia.
All that is left now is to cap Norway as the last major out of all nations and we are set. Capitulated Japan just because they were annoying and stealing my resources. And voila, we achieved peak Roman borders as Greece. I hope you guys enjoyed today's campaign. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I had a rough day and I didn't want to talk much. Next video is going to be the Austria World Conquest. It should be out in two days or three from now at max. Anyhow, if you are new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. This has been Kaguya. Have a wonderful day or evening and goodbye. Bye, have a beautiful time.